Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And the hot seat tonight is Frankie Sartori. Thank, Thank you for having me. me. So I understand you're familiar with Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and how it goes? Of, of course. course. In, In fact, fact uh, on a side note, I, I actually host it as a series on the Discord Game Show Network. Well, then let's see how you do in the hot seat, shall we? Let's do it. All right, you know the drill. 15 questions away from $1 million. Three lifelines to help you along the way. Are you ready? Yes, I am, Daniel. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Frankie Sartori. The first question is for $100, Frank, and here it is. In what state is the Space Needle located? Montana, Oregon, Washington, the state of April Fools. Huh. Uh, can you repeat the question again? In what state is the Space Needle located? Montana, Oregon, Washington, the state of April Fools. Uh, that would be Washington, if I don't know. Washington, the right answer for one hundred dollars. Going for two hundred dollars. Which of these coins is made of copper and not silver? Nickel, penny, dime, drawn and quartered. I repeat the question again. You kind of cut out the end. Which of these coins is made of copper and not silver? Nickel, penny, dime, drawn and quartered. Oh. I'm sorry, you cut out the last word, Daniel. Quartered is the last word. Oh. Um, Copper and not silver. Copper and not silver. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, that'd be the penny, final answer. Penny is right for $200. $300. Complete the phrase, it's a done, deal, promise, exchange, doo doo. Deal, final answer. It's a done deal for $300. For $500, Frank, a park is a good place for what pet? A cat, guinea pig, dog, rabbit. Uh, that'd be a dog. Dog is the right answer for five hundred dollars. One thousand dollars, Frank. Which of the following is another word for the force that keeps us from floating in the air? Flying, gravity, crashing, bumping. Repeat the question you cut out. <sighs> Which of the following is another word for the force that keeps us from floating in the air? Okay, that would be gravity, final answer. It's gravity for $1,000! Yeah! Doing great so far. Here it is for $2,000. In what part of New York City is the ABC News show Good Morning America regularly filmed? Rockefeller Center, Central Park, Times Square, Battery Park. Oh boy. I want to say either Times Square or whatever A it was. Rockefeller Center. Oh, okay. Well, if you're not sure, you have your lifelines if you need to use them. Well, it's a free guess, if I guess I'm all not losing any money, so I'm going to go with my gut instinct, and I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say Times Square, I think I'm going to find answer. Guess what? You're right! You won $2,000! Alright. Rockefeller Center is the filming place for the Today Show. Here it is for 4000 Who provided the voice of Manny the Mammoth in the Ice Age films? K. 
Kelsey Grammer, Ray Romano, John Cusack, Jim Carrey. Oh, uh, this this one's too weak. This one happens to be my favorite actors. It's Ray Romano, final answer. It's one of my favorites too. You're right for four thousand dollars. Here it is for 8,000. What is the most famous race of NASCAR better known as? Cincinnati 500. Minneapolis 500. St. Louis 500. Indianapolis 500. Oh, that, this is easy one too. Um, it'd be the Indianapolis 500, final answer. You got eight thousand dollars. Right. Seven away from the million. Not one lifeline used yet. Here it is for sixteen thousand. The nineteen ninety three film Rookie of the Year focused on what major league baseball team? The Chicago Cubs, Los Angeles Angels, Philadelphia Phillies, New York Yankees. Yeah, I've never seen this movie. For this one, I'm gonna have to ask the audience. Alright, audience, Frank needs a little help here. On your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, please vote now. Most well, 60% believe it is the Chicago Cubs. Phillies came in second. Alright, the audience seems to know their stuff. I'm gonna go with the audience, I'm gonna say there's a couple cops, but I don't know what's You can thank the audience, you just won $16,000! Oh, thank you, audience. And Frank, I've seen that movie myself, so... You guys, Frank is gonna need your help if he wants to win the million. Here's for 32000 It must have been what for Roxette and her 1987 hit song of the same name? Fate? Destiny? Love? Heaven? Oh, I'm not sure if I heard this song, but yeah, when I believe it's from the movie Pretty Woman, I'm gonna say Love, final answer. I may not have watched the movie myself, but I do know that it's called It Must Have Been Love. You just won $32,000! Hey, right. Great job, Frank! Now we're getting into the even bigger stakes now. Here it is for $64,000. Whoa! Which of the following Buck the Weasel lookalikes is not voiced by British comedic actor Simon Pegg in the 2016 animated film Ice Age Collision Course? Grandpa Buck, Pythagoras Buck, Robo Buck, Neil the Buck Weasel. Oh, I've never seen that film. So, I'm gonna have to phone a friend. Well, before we get to the phone friend lifeline, who here on the Discord chat do you want to call for this? Well, Mark seems to be pretty helpful, so I'm gonna go with Mark. Mark, what do you think of this? Okay, uh, what is the question? Okay, which of the following Buck the Weasel lookalikes is not voiced by British comedic actor Simon Pegg in the 2016 animated film Ice Age Collision Course? Grandpa Buck, Pythagoras Buck, Robo Buck, or Neil the Buck Weasel? Oh, you have seen this one. Well, Frank, the good news for me is that this is a guess what? Bad news? I have not seen this movie at all. What's your guess? 
gonna guess A. 45% Well, let's see what the computer phone friend has to say about this. Hmm. Computer thinks it's Pythagoras Buck. You still have your 50 50 if you want to sure. use it. Um. Well, since Mark says he hasn't seen the move, I'm not sure if I really trust his answer. The Fall of Friend. The phone of friends are usually, most, some of the time, pretty useful. So now, I'm gonna go with... Wait, 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 wait hold on. And I'm... You have your 50-50 if you want to use it. I'm gonna say 50-50, this is a free pass. I can find one, I don't lose anything. So, I'm gonna go and say Pythagoras Buck, but I'm gonna answer. Frank, it's the wrong answer. It was Neil the Buck Weasel, voiced by Neil deGrasse Tyson. So you leave here with thirty-two thousand dollars. Well, that's definitely nothing to sneeze at. At least you didn't lose any money on that question. Yeah. <laughs> So, Frank didn't win the million this time. Oh. But we'll see if he can try again to win it all next time. From YouTube, everybody. Good night.